Former Overwatch pro and popular streamer Defran recently got hit with a 30 day Twitch ban and I have no idea why. Not because I'm shit at using Google, but because this dude said at least three different things on stream last week that could have pissed off Twitch. Whatever the hell happened, it's definitely not the first time Defran's been banned, but let's try to figure out what exactly went wrong here. Now Defran is one of North America's most popular Overwatch players and last week he got hit with a 30 day Twitch ban. Now right after the incident, Defran tweeted out saying that stupid shit and being ignorant on stream was what got him banned. Now I half jokingly think that he doesn't really understand why he got banned in the first place. Because like I said off the top, there's at least three different things he said on stream that could have had Twitch swinging the ban hammer. There's this rant against a teammate that he thinks is shit. Well, I hate you all. I hope you've heard that. Loser! 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 Fuck you! You piece of shit! Fucking piece of shit! Fucking Anna player, dude! Loser uninstalled the fucking game, you fucking piece of shit! Oh my, oh my fucking god, dude. Holy shit, you fucking piece of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm done. And there's this rant that we can't find footage of where he tells a player using an off meta support to go kill themselves. Then there's this third rant where he just loses it on someone in his own chat. My friend, you're not my hero anymore. I don't give a fucking shit. I'm not your fucking hero. I'm just some sweaty fucking nerd sitting in a fucking basement playing computer. You can go fuck yourself. I'm not your fucking hero. Go find fucking another hero. Are you fucking stupid or what? In his initial tweet, Defran said he was gonna fight the ban, which, all right, man, you do you. And then joked later on that when he returned to stream, it would have a more family-friendly vibe. Now, if you know anything about Defran, you know he has a reputation for being toxic. And that dates back all the way to 2017 when competitive Overwatch was just getting started and he signed with Selfless Gaming. But just two days after Selfless qualified for season zero of Contenders, Defran was suspended by Blizzard and dropped from the team. Apparently he was caught throwing matches, streaming porn, and just generally being toxic. And the twit longer he posted at the time is pretty on brand to say the least. Here's a little excerpt from the twit longer. I honestly do not give a shit what happens to me in my fucking career. You can all go fuck yourselves. Defran has never really talked about why he got kicked from Selfless, but since then his ex-teammate Emong has come to his defense. I mean, I was, out of all people, I probably would know how Defran would be in a pro scene. Um, he'd be fine. Oh, he just needs to, he needs to get, Defran, as long as Defran gets his fix of, like, memes, like, heavy memes, then Defran will be just fine in a pro team. So as long as he's able to stream still, what? while being on a pro team, then Defran will be just fine. I, 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 I promise you. Yeah, I actually yeah, yeah, promise you that. But the one thing Defran has been pretty open about is how being a professional Overwatch player has affected his mental health and maybe even led to some of this erratic behavior. After all this, Defran focused on streaming for a while, and then eventually he signed a contract with the Atlanta Reign just before the start of the second Overwatch season. And fans were stoked, because despite his bans and his erratic behavior, Defran has always been one of the most popular people in the Overwatch community. And I mean, he even had the best-selling jersey of the year. But oddly, halfway through the season, Defran announced he was leaving Atlanta to stream full-time again. And that kind of brings us to now, because since he returned to streaming full-time, he's been banned a couple of times. I'm banned, dude. <laughs> what the fuck did I do? What did I do? I didn't do anything. For abusing game disconnects, soft throwing games, and just, well, being Defran. Despite his pseudo retirement from the Overwatch League, Defran's popularity has continued to grow. And he recently broke his own peak viewership number, topping out at over 20K. And honestly, yeah, Defran can be a bit of a dick, but the Overwatch community seems to love him, and it's never seemed like malicious with him. Who first came to the right so we can see chat, please? Move camera. Oh, you can't see chat? Okay. Well, okay, what about this? What about this? Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, I'm flying. And that brings us to last week, where Defran got banned for stuff that's typically him. So typical, in fact, we don't actually know what he specifically said or did that got him banned. And the Overwatch community is not at all surprised about this. So there you have it. 
Defran got banned for, well, being Defran. And he says he's going to be more family friendly when he returns to stream, but who fucking knows? Only time will tell. While Defran has never really talked extensively about why he got kicked from Selfless, his, t his ex teammate is since his While Defran has never extensively talked about what got him kicked from Selfless, his ex, 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 can't fucking speak English right now. While Defran has never really talked extensively about what it, While Defran has never really talked extensively about why he got kicked from Selfless, his ex-teammate Emong has since come to his, his defense. Holy fuck. Emong has never, Emong, Jesus. 